So, Illari Namaste. Before going to the next problem, you just have a look. In this particular problem, it is given a square prism. I am changing this particular to pentagonal prism. Instead of 35 mm, I am rechanging this to 25 mm and HP inclination to 40 degree. So rechanging the question, a pentagonal prism, 25 mm sides of base and 60 mm axis length rests on HP on one of its edges. So this is your first condition of the base which is inclined to VP at 30 degree. This goes to your third condition. Draw the projection of the prism when axis is inclined to HP at 40 degree. This is your second condition. Draw one pentagon for edge condition such that we are taking right side reference. So name the dimension, this is 25 mm. And when it comes to naming, this is A, A1, B, B1, C, C1, D, D1, E, E1, and this is O, O1. Next, from all the points, project to the X, Y line. One point you need to keep in your mind. So we have identified the center by joining the perpendicular bisector. After identifying the center, you need to project. Ensure you will not meet from all the corners to the center because this is your prism. So I have projected to XY line from here for a given height 60 mm. The height has been raised from all the corners. Next, from the front view, a, B, C is clearly visible and when it comes for a base A1, B1, C1 is visible and these points D, D1, E, E1 is not visible. So that is, this is A dash, this is A1 dash and this is B dash and B1 dash. Since E, E1 is not visible, it comes here E dash and this is E1 dash, this is O1 dash and this is O dash and when it comes to this, this is your C dash of D dash and this is C1 dash of D1 dash. Coming to the second condition, the axis is inclined at an angle 40 degree. Take one convenient point, call this one as C1 dash of D1 dash. Next. Draw this base angle, we have we have uh, information from pyramids, so you know that you have already drawn all these things. This supposed to be 90 minus the given angle that is 40 degree. So after calculating you will get 50. Draw this line, measure from C1 dash to O1 dash, cut an arc and call this as O1 dash. Next from the same C1 dash measure B1 dash of E1 dash. Next, from this, again you measure A1 dash. Now, from all these points, draw 90 degree lines for a given height and complete this problem. So, have a look. I have taken this base for an angle 50. This is 90 minus given is 40. So, this is 50 degree. Take this, measure from all these points, cut an arc, draw 90 degree lines from all the points because this is making an angle 90 degree. Next, for a given height, measure from one point and start cutting arc and join this. So after completing this, extend this axis line and measure this. This will be definitely 40 degree. From all these points, project down and again from all these points, project to the right side to get a top view of in this second position. After projecting, you can show the direction. This is project towards right side and this is projected towards down side. Next, meet all the points. Top surface we have named A, B, C, D. We know that. So when it comes to this particular meet, this is A, B, C, D and E. And this point is O. Again, coming to this base part, this is A1. B1, 
C1, D1 and E1. So this particular point is O1. Next, highlight the boundaries with a dark line. Have a look when it comes to boundary A1, B1, B, C, D, E, E1, again A1. This forms a boundary line. After drawing this boundary line, from the top view, top face is clearly visible. So, A to E it is continuous. Again, from A to B is continuous. After drawing this with a continuous line, again have a look from the top. A dash to A1 dash is clearly visible. So, draw this with a continuous line. Since base part is not visible, so this particular will be a dotted line that is E1 to D1 and C1 and again this particular will be a dotted. Again have a look C1 to C it is a dotted line because this part is not visible from the top or else when this part is clearly visible this line is behind that after drawing this with a dotted. Since axis is clearly visible from O to O1, but this edge cover still here, rest part you can show this with an axis line. Proceeding with the third condition, the resting edge is inclined at an angle 30 degree. So resting edge is D1, C1. So draw one line for 30 degree. Next, measure from C1 to D1, mark here. Call this as C1 and this is D1. Next measure from this to this. I will call this as 1. O1 and this is 2. So measure C1 to 1. Now you draw 90 degree line from point 1. Have a look. This is the 90 degree. 1 to O1 you measure and mark. This is O1. Next 1 to 2 you measure and mark here. This is 2 point and 1 to A1 you measure and mark here. Now from these points draw 90 degree line. That is from point 2 you draw 90 degree line. 2 to E is same as 2 to B1. I repeat 2 to E1 is same as 2 to B1. Measure this and mark here. Call this point as E1 and this as B1 and this is A. Join these, we will get a pentagon. After completing this particular pentagon, from all the points that is A1, B1, C1, D1 and D1, E1, draw 90 degree lines. After drawing this 90 degree lines, measure A1 to a, since all the lengths are same, start cutting from arc A1, B1, C1, D1 and E1. After cutting arc, you can remove this extra parts. Next, name this points. This is A, B, C, D, E and this is O. And join this to get a pentagon shape. Ensure when you draw this particular figure, it should not touch XY line. After completing this particular figure, ensure this figure should be replica of this. Please take care of all continuous line and discontinuous lines here. Next, from all these points, project up and again from this particular points, project to the right side. So after projecting, slowly you meet the points. We know that the resting edge falls on XY line. Have a look. This is your C1 dash and this is your D1 dash. Now meet other points. This is your B dash, B1 dash and this is your A1 dash and this is your E1 dash. Similarly, so we have met all the points in the base. Now slowly you have a look with the top face this is a dash this is b dash and this is your c dash this is your d dash and this is your e dash 
and this particular is O1 dash and this is your O dash. After meeting all the points, we shall find out the boundary here. So boundary for this particular final position solid is A dash, B dash, C dash, C1 dash, D1 dash, E1 dash, E dash and again A dash. Join all these with a continuous line. After meeting all the boundary lines, from the front view, since this base part is clearly visible, highlight the base. So that is this A1 dash, B1 dash, C1 dash, all these things E1 dash is clearly visible. Join this with a continuous line. After highlighting this base part, have a look. B1 dash to B dash, it is a continuous line because it is not dividing the base. Similarly, a1 dash to A dash, it is a continuous line because it is not dividing. But from D1 dash to D dash, it is a dotted line. After drawing this dotted line, from E dash to D dash, it is dotted. And again from D dash to E dash, it is dotted. Since this part is not visible from the front. Next, finally, you highlight this axis. This completes your problem.